Being put in the slammer in America can be a life-threatening proposition. The most recent data from the U.S. Ministry of Justice shows more than 11,000 people died in local jails in the decade to 2011. As Archie's Amira David reports, some of those hadn't even been charged. Everybody needs to speak up. And I'm up. I just hope. It's a mother still in mourning, distraught over her 37-year-old daughter who died after spending several agonizing hours lying on the floor of a Brooklyn jail cell. The day which led to Kayam Livingston's death this past summer stemmed from a nonviolent altercation with her grandmother. But after her arrest, police brought her here to Brooklyn Central Booking, where she was held waiting to be arraigned by a judge. Unfortunately, she would never make it to a court or ever officially be charged with a crime. Instead, Livingston would spend the remainder of her life in a jail cell, suffering from severe stomach pains, diarrhea, and convulsions. But despite her physical distress, Livingston's son, Alex, says a witness told him NYPD officers ignored the pleas of his mother and others who were with her in the cell. They started banging on the bars of the cells and screaming at the officers to get help, get medical help and everything. And there was a female officer that walked by and said, oh, she's just having a seizure. My grandson has seizures all the time. It'll pass. NYPD officials tell the family that Livingston was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. But one witness and fellow inmate told the Daily News that Livingston had been dead for 20 minutes before the EMS had even arrived. The department, which is now being sued by the family, has declined requests to turn over key surveillance video and release the names of the officers who oversaw her care. In a statement to RT regarding the case, a spokesman for the New York City Law Department said, this involved a tragic matter, but given the pending litigation, we cannot comment further. But Livingston's story is not exactly unique. She represents just one of hundreds of deaths that take place every year in local jails across the country. According to the most recent Department of Justice statistics available, in 2011, 885 inmates died while detained by local police departments. Deaths which have typically stemmed from a pre-existing health condition. It's a statistic that Kara Tabachnik of Cooney's Center on Media Crime and Justice has called alarming. It could be somebody that has a condition that has never been diagnosed before and the stress of the situation could bring that out. It could be anybody. 80% of the people entering jails have some sort of medical or chronic condition. That's why Tabachnik says these officers need to be aware of inmates' illnesses and trained on how to react to dire medical conditions. And that's what this community is demanding six months after Kayam Livingston's tragic death. They're calling for accountability, and they're insisting on changes to the U.S. jail system that could prevent others from falling victim to the same fate. In New York, Amira David, RT.